No, that's fine. Yeah. All right, we are back. This is Freddie Correa on Thanks for the Invite Podcast. And today on the show, we have Steve Torty. Is that how you say last name? Did I say it right? That is correct. People mess up my last name all the time. That's okay. Yeah, it's Freddie Correa, but people say Correa. Uh, well, Correa is the proper way. Right. It's a Portuguese last name. Really? A Portuguese? Yeah. So I'm half Portuguese. Oh, is that right? Half Portuguese, half Italian. Oh, nice. Okay, I can make you an offer you just wouldn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, um, Correa... It means belt, mm-hmm. just cinto. That's all it means. And I get it from my dad. From He's from Cuba. Oh, wow. So it's from the settlers and everything that, yeah. you know, took over Cuba. Yeah. There you go. Wow. So I got my last name. But it's, uh yeah, so people mess it up. Torty. Torty? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we got Steve Torty, the owner of Heat Junkie. I ran across your hot sauce, and I'm like, I need to reach out because this, this is a really good hot sauce. Look. I'm, I, I love hot sauces, but there's a difference when when there's a taste and you can actually enjoy it. Right. And your hot sauce, I really liked it. Uh, the taste was one of the big factors because being part Mexican as well, I love the heat. <laughs> you know, exactly. I got to have the heat. Yeah. I'm used to it. If right. I'm eating, uh, I, don't, I, I don't know. I just don't enjoy my well, food. You, well, you grew up with it. I mean, you grew up with that kind of uh that flavoring and, and a lot of people think mexican food is super hot it really isn't all that hot it's very yeah. flavorful yeah you know and i'm all about flavor um you know being portuguese and italian i mean we've had flavor yeah. uh in our food especially portuguese food you know mm-hmm. it, it, there's always that nice um you know red pepper flake kind of thing but i wanted to expand on that a little bit more to to you know make something that is going to enhance the flavor of your food not yeah. just burn your mouth or, yeah just be in pain. Yeah, that's in, in, in the so called hot sauce community, there are people who are known for their uh, tolerance. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a gentleman by the name of Dustin Johnson, great guy. He is the uh, world champion hot pepper eating contest winner. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, if you look at it on Netflix, um, he's uh, next to this one girl. It was right down to the finals. She's sweating profusely and he's dry as a bone and he's actually playing with his rubik's cube while he's doing this competition so he's got a very good tolerance level but he also can taste everything and Mm -hmm. if you go to my website he's done four videos of each of my sauces all for free Mm -hmm. nice guy and he rated them very well Uh, he also picked them apart in terms of flavor he could tell the garlic he could tell the lime juice he could so it wasn't you know, everybody thinks, well, he's, if he's eating hot peppers, he has no taste buds left. It's, yeah. You know, he, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. So he yeah. gave me high ratings. I was very, very pleased with that. And uh, w- let's tell the listeners, uh, and actually, we're also on Facebook Live right now. Um, what What is the website that you're, the listeners could go to? It's uh, heatjunkiefoods.com. Okay. Uh, the reason I call it Heat Junkie Foods because there's going to be more products coming down the line. Ah, so nice. I've got um, in the works going to be doing some pistachios, some uh, some pumpkin seeds, uh, possibly some beef jerky, mm-hmm. and I'd like to expand out into pickles too. Mm. So uh, all of those are you know coming along. Yeah, that's great. That's great. And how long have you uh, been doing this business? This is now two years. Two uh, years. I started with the six chili blend. Um, I started. Um, experimenting with the peppers, uh, dehydrating them, smoking them on the smoker, and then dehydrating them, trying mm-hmm. different things. And I finally came up with a blend that I really liked. Um, so then I decided, well, it's time to make some hot sauces too, yeah. to go along with this. Yeah. So And I started in Boulder City, which is the home of Hoover Dam. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of my test market. Oh, yeah. uh, so the tourists like the product. Yeah, but it's not a novelty hot sauce. Everybody kind of thinks that if it's in a Vegas theme or a you know touristy area, it's a it's a, it's a novelty hot sauce. But mm-hmm. it's not. It's it's got flavor. I've yeah. had a lot of people that have bought the product in Boulder City. I've been ten locations out there. Mm-hmm. It's called the Boulder Heat Junkie. Okay, and they uh, the locals embraced it quite well. Uh, but the the tourists are buying it and bringing it back home and eating it and reordering through the website. So. And, and so through the website, people could order, let's say, overseas too, because I got listeners up. I was telling you, I got listeners yeah. up in Canada and 
I, I mean, with customs and things like that, it, it's a little difficult. Okay. So I haven't really expanded into that yet uh, because the way the, the freight is set up. Mm -hmm. The freight is set up where it's just the United States right now. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. So then I mean, if they want to email me through the website and say, hey, look, I got this and I'm going to go here and can you figure out what the cost? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. But, uh, and, and that would be the best way. This way I can build them that way. Right. Okay. Right. Now, well, um, now how, which one was the first hot sauce that you started off with? Cause we have here, uh, if you could read them to me, yeah, you have the scotch bonnet. Okay. Uh, then you have the ghost pepper and then you have the, uh, garlic habanero and then the classic habanero. I started off with the classic habanero cause it was probably one of the easier ones to, um, you know, do because it's just a classic one, uh, which is made for, say, Tacos El Pastor mm. with a grilled pineapple because the flavor combinations go really well. It's kind of designed for meat. Yeah. Uh, then the garlic habanero, and that one was more of a um, uh, Asian-inspired one. It's not an Asian flavoring, but it goes very well on ramen, Yeah. Uh, fried rice, Thai food, pizza, believe it or not. I just finished that bottle. Did you? <laughs> yeah. I carried this one first. This is the very first one. The Scotch bonnet. Yeah. Yeah. Scotch bonnet. This is the first one I carried. Um, and I carried it in my, my lunchbox. I got, you know, <laughs> I got, I, I collect hot sauces. Oh, cool. I'll show you my cabinet later. Cool. Not a huge collection, but I, yeah. you know, if I go to Texas, I get what, whatever right. they have at like a Bucky's right. gas station. I'm like, okay, I'll get the hot sauce from there. Sure. So that, I mean, this is a great idea to also have it um like you said you have boulder heat junkie and then you have vegas heat junkie correct because then um tourists hey i want to take this home this right. is something from vegas exactly yeah and you're supporting uh local yeah. local business now you're um where where are you located in vegas where, uh, where can the people find your product you can find it at liquor world the, okay. the rainbow location rainbow 215 um cactus location cactus and decatur Paradise and Harmon, uh, right across from the old Hard Rock, which mm -hmm. is now uh, Virgin Resorts, and Blue Diamond. Uh, so I will be getting into the Dean Martin location uh, next week. Um, Liquor World has been great. They've been just tremendous, and we've done quite well there. That is so cool to have it, like, because it's not a place you go for hot sauce. Well, that's, so th that was the vibe. I mean, my other business, I, I, I do marketing. It's, okay. Um, called Get Noticed Advertising, and I do uh, screen printing and embroidery. And uh, as a matter of fact, all the all these things here you see here, yeah, I make those. You know, the poker chips. Yeah, you got me uh, a poker chip. And and then the the little vial here that has the that whole, has the six chili blend in it. You know, you see that. Yeah. So you have people, you know, put it on your keychain. So when you go out, you can sprinkle it on your pasta, pizza, French fries, eggs, whatever. That's great. Um, I also. The six chili blend's really good for a rimmer for a Bloody Mary. Mm. And if you go to the website, you can actually steal my recipe. And uh, that one works really well. You can do it for, the, for a margarita. You can do that. Uh, micheladas. Mm. So uh, also, I've got a ton of recipes on there. Because I, I didn't want it to be just plain hot sauce. Right. I wanted the people to go, well, what do I put it on? Yeah. You know? So I just put one on there for... Um, uh, pork belly burnt ends with my Vegas uh, heat junkie garlic habanero and the six yeah. chili blend. So that worked out really well. Oh, that's really cool. So, yeah, I mean, so did you, so you purposely did that, like you strategized to put your hot sauce in a liquor place. Yeah. That is genius. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> Especially when you're, I mean, the one I've been to on Rainbow, mm -hmm. when you're walking out, it's right there, right by the cashiers yeah and everybody there recommends it too yeah. they're so great about it the employees yeah. they're they all like they all the times i've gone to get me another one uh like a refill they always say oh that's my favorite oh have you tried the ghost pepper you know right right the ghost pepper i haven't tried so i'm looking forward to definitely trying it right, today cool. Cool. uh and and thank you so much for the gift oh, that's, my pleasure. that's nice uh and and definitely looking forward to uh working with you on that Cool. And, and you got to come out to the comedy club too yeah come out come out to the show it definitely will yeah talk to the owners there because i know you're already you're right next door right you have your product at um deja vu correct yeah we're right next door to them yeah 
LA no, Comedy they, Club. I have it uh, in the Deja Vu Emporium on Tropicana too. Oh, okay. Uh, the guy who's a manager there, running the, all of them now, been a friend of mine for years. I've yeah. I've sold him a bunch of T-shirts and things like that because I've yeah. been working with their organization. Another great bunch of people too. Yeah. And I'm also at the um, Beef Jerky Outlet or the Beef Jerky Store in the mm. Las Vegas uh, Outlet Mall and. Um, Las Vegas South ah, uh, on the boulevard. Nice. So a uh, gentleman by the name of Troy, great guy. He uh, really, you know, embraced. He's got other hot sauces there too, but mine's been selling quite well because yeah. it's a Vegas themed. Product. Yeah. So. And, and so you said you're from the East coast. I am. Where from Rhode Island, Rhode Island, huh? Rhode Island, yeah. yeah. Smallest little state in the union. They call it. Oh, is that right? Is that one what they the, call it? One of the most corrupt, but, <laughs> <laughs> but that's another story. That's another story. Yeah. Um, when, when was it when you started getting into um spicy food did you grow up eating spicy food or um i did uh like i said the portuguese side was always mm. you know a good uh, gauge of, of certain styles of food and but as a kid i really didn't you know gravitate toward that i might i didn't really look at food as something to to experiment with yeah i mean i liked it but i mean uh, and i did some cooking as i got older i started cooking more and more mm -hmm. So I decided, well, let me turn some of this into a passion. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the passion into, you know, a business because it, right, right. it was something that I enjoyed and I like sharing it. I like people to try different things and, and experiment with different flavors. Mm -hmm. uh, matter of fact, there's a recipe on my website for a uh, watermelon, avocado, uh, feta cheese, and mint salad. Mm. And you think those don't go together, but they all do. And it's, it's, a, it's a lime vinaigrette in there and some onion yeah. and it's so refreshing and then what you do is you sprinkle the six chili blend on there because it picks up all those flavors and enhances them all Doesn't make them hot hot mm -hmm. but it makes them you know uh, more pronounced right you mentioned a salad that's i put hot sauce in my salad <laughs> i noticed yeah you put it on the facebook thing and you know what's great too <laughs> you can take the scotch bonnet and yeah. add, a, add it to a uh salad dressing yeah or a, oh. uh, a little teriyaki or a little bit of soy sauce and has a glaze on shrimp when they just come out right off the grill. That's the day I think I reached out. Yeah. Uh, when I put it on, on social media is because I was uh, eating my, my chicken salad and I threw it on there and I was going to I sometimes take a picture of my whatever I'm eating, yeah. put it on the stories there. And then I looked at the bottom like, I wonder if there's a way to reach out. Yeah. And I saw the website, went to the website, and there was an Instagram, so I tagged you on it. Yeah. No, that was great. I love that. The more, the more people know, the better. And it's it's a local business, which I like. It's like um, anytime, again, go into a, a, a town, I like to support the local brewery, too. You know, like I, I'm from Reno. My wife and I, we grew up in Reno, Nevada. So over there, it's Great Basin, the brewery. Yep. And and now it, it's expanded. You, you could find... Uh, their their product in other places now so it's like that's that's what i like about your product and i would like to see that expand to also by having that vegas name it could be carried anywhere right well the see the, the reason i have two different brands mm -hmm. uh the boulder heat junkie and the vegas heat junkie is they don't transfer well into each other basically mm. people who are going to boulder city as a tourist thing sure don't buy vegas products and vice versa yeah. So um, the Boulder Heat Junkie has got the ghost pepper, the garlic, and the six chili blend. It's the same recipe, but mm -hmm. it's mine. I can do whatever I want of with course. it. Of course. Yeah. But I'm not really worried about the transfer of, of people going, well, geez, you've got that product here and you got that product there. Yeah. Um, they're both good. Yeah. They're both, but with the uh, Boulder Heat Junkie, I have a mango habanero and a jalapeno. Oh. So pepper sauce which is really good. Jalapeno hot sauce is yeah. one of my favorite. My wife's as well. She yeah. usually goes with the jalapeno one. Yeah, and, and, and it's real chunky and it's got some good texture to it. Yeah. Um, it's fantastic on eggs. I love it on eggs. Excuse me one second. I'm just going to, I forgot my coffee right here. Got my Cuban coffee. Bustelo. You ever had Bustelo? I have not. Do you drink coffee? I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, Bustelo's pretty good. Um, my uh, my my dad's side is the Cuban side, and it was the funniest thing where they came out from Miami. My sister and her husband were drinking uh, downtown, and they're like, "Feeling a little sleepy." 
I'm like, and he's like, is there a Cuban restaurant around here? I'm like, uh, there's Florida Cafe. So we ran over at Florida Cafe. You, you ever had a Cuban coffee, the little cups? They're like an espresso shots. I've had espresso. I love espresso. I've never had It's Cuban just like coffee. espresso pretty yeah. much. But they call it Cuban coffee. He drinks it and he's like, all right, let's do some te- more tequila. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it just charged him up. Yeah. And it does charge you up because it's so like, you know, espresso is like the caffeine rush, you know. But uh, anyway, I'm addicted to coffee and hot well, sauce. If, if you like tequila, <laughs> the six chili blend, um, you what you want to do is you want to cut an orange mm-hmm. so you have a little half moon, and you sprinkle the six chili blend on there. Mm-hmm. And then when you do the shot of tequila, instead of biting the lime, you bite the orange with the six chili blend on it. Whoa. And what happens is the orange just explodes. The flavor of the orange is it's intensified. Okay. And then what it does is whatever tequila you have, it cuts out the bitterness, mm-hmm. but now you can taste the tequila because tequila has a taste. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of people just, you know, cringe when they go, oh. Yeah. But it's, if you, like, like the new tequilas that are coming out now, the ones that are sipping tequilas, or it's almost mm-hmm. like a scotch or like mm-hmm. a cognac, uh, those, of course, you really don't want to do a, a, a chaser with it you want to get that flavor of the tequila right. mm-hmm. so like with the uh you know the reposados and that kind of thing the, the blancos the white ones they do have a little bite they have a flavor mm-hmm. but this here now when you bite into the orange with the six chili blend on it everything now has been intensified the only thing is after you do five of them you hate me in the morning because you know <laughs> <laughs> i just did five shots of tequila i didn't taste anything well i'm i'm, I'm strong look at me <laughs> Oh, uh, just five though. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how big the shots are. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that that's a great idea. Okay, I, I'm gonna have to uh, definitely try that out and get some more and just. Um, and, I mean, it goes good on mango. I mean, you you don't have to do tequila with it. You can just sprinkle it on oranges or watermelon or something. Yeah, and you know, just eat it as a, as a snack. Yeah. So, but it has a tremendous flavor. Yeah. That's that's the thing. Everything is flavor. Okay, definitely. I'll have to get me some oranges. Did you hear that? <laughs> um, and and let me ask you this too. Now, the the ghost pepper. Mm-hmm. We were talking about flavor right from the start. Most of the time, you hear ghost pepper immediately. You're just like, ah, one drop. You're gonna be fucking. Yeah. Sorry, I cuss on the podcast. <laughs> Your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're just going to be like, holy shit, yeah. my mouth's burning. I, I'm not even going to enjoy this. Uh, how is your ghost pepper? Well, it's got a good heat. Okay. What happens is and when you try it, you know, within a few seconds, you're okay. Oh, here it is. Mm. So now the heat's there. Now, okay. uh, unlike a, a, a scorpion pepper sauce or a reaper pepper sauce, this doesn't keep getting hotter and hotter. Mm. It reaches a plateau, stays there. And then we'll start coming down. Mm. But it's not so bad where you're crying. And it all mm. depends on your tolerance. Too. Sure. But um, the ghost pepper is really good for, because uh, all, these, all these can be made into a wing sauce. Yeah. You Two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of the hot sauce. Ah. And if you've got an air fryer, you do your chicken wings in that. When they come out, you toss it in that sauce, and then you hit it with the six chili blend. Mm-hmm. Now, what will happen is with the ghost pepper, you're going to get flavored. You're going to get some good burn, okay. but it, you're not going to be dying. Mm-hmm. You know, where a lot okay. of people, you know, oh, geez, I can't taste my food. Can't take this away. I can't yeah. eat it. It's going to enhance the flavors of things. Yeah. So, especially, like I said, especially chicken wings. If you smoke chicken wings uh-huh. on a smoker and then hit it with the sauce, you're okay. going to love it. Yeah. Uh, the air fry is amazing for chicken mm-hmm. wings. I also have a recipe, a lot, like I said, a lot of recipes on there, uh, air fry pickles. Okay. Uh, so it's mixing the six chili blend. And of course, you know, you can always take a little ranch dressing, a little blue cheese, add the six chili blend, add a little hot sauce to okay. it so it spices it up. Gives there you, you go. You know, gives you a little yeah. change. Yeah. 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 They, I, I went to a um, wing festival in Reno several years ago, and there was, um, you know, you get the little sampler, yeah. the, the four, four or three wings just to t- taste mm-hmm. it and everything. And I remember one that I just didn't enjoy it. As much as I like spicy food, yeah. I didn't enjoy it because my mouth was just like my, my tongue just I felt like cutting it off. <laughs> I'm like, this this is horrible. This is a horrible feeling. <laughs> well, that's, see, that's that's my feeling too. And and that two percent of the market, 
that wants that, that's great. If you want that, that's fine. Sure. But I want the other 98%. I want mm -hmm. the people who want to enhance the flavor of their food, not kill it. Yeah. And I, you know, I don't, I'm not claiming to be the best hot sauce. I'm not claiming to be the hottest. I want to be your everyday hot sauce. I, mm -hmm. You know, when, you, when you're when having some eggs, I want you to grab it and throw it on there. Yeah. If you're having um, some chili and you want to add a little, little ghost pepper to it, beans and chili and things like that, mm -hmm. that ghost pepper really picks up all those flavors. Mm -hmm. So it's an enhancer. And, and everybody thinks you have to pour a ton of hot sauce on it. You don't. Okay. A few drops, a couple of it, and then, you know, it's like anything else. You, you can always add, but you can't take away. Yeah. So if it's not hot enough, you add a few more drops. A few more, and then, okay, now I got my level. Yeah. You know? Yep, there you go. Well, let's do some tasting. All right. We're, yeah, we're, we just hit 20 minutes. We're going to do about 30 minutes and okay. uh, definitely want to do some tasting right here. And you, you've tasted the garlic, right? Yes. Okay. I love it. Why don't we try <clears throat> this here? Now, the six chili blend is, uh, again, six chilies. There's no additives to this. It uh, is ancho, basilla, California red, chipotle, jalapeno, habanero, smoked paprika, and sea salt wow that's it there's there's no um uh fillers there's no um there's the product there's a thing called sodium dioxide which is an anti-caking agent there's none in here i don't put that in there because mm -hmm. because of the you know we don't have low humidity here in, mm -hmm. in vegas so it, there's no need for it so it's all natural of course you know it says it on there um uh all natural no preservatives so you know it's basically a you know uh dried dehydrated peppers mm. and then all blended together so um i got to put it this oh. this you want to put on the back of your hand just try it oh, on the back okay. of your hand and then uh let's give it a good lick <laughs> good thing i showered today. <laughs> so you'll find that it's not a burning hot sensation even though with all the chilies in there wow chilies Traditionally, you know, everybody thinks it's just hot, but mm. they're really flavorful. Yeah, that has an amazing flavor. Yeah. And it's not, you know, you're not burning. You, you have a tingle, mm -hmm. but it, it, and to be honest with you, I, I don't know how it improves the flavor of everything. I, I, I tell people all the time, I was blending and mixing and trying and this and then, and I went, all right, well, then I started putting on this and put it on meatloaf and put it on pasta, put it on pizza. And now it's a, it's a rimmer for a Bloody Mary. Now it's also a rimmer for a margarita, a michelada. Even if you're not drinking, just put in it on an orange. Mm -hmm. That would be so tasty. But, you know, Mexicans love spicy fruit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's strange because I, uh, when I was doing all the test marketing, I would go to Hispanic people. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I actually had someone just claim to me, it's, well, that's racist. I said, no, it's not racist. No. It's, this is what they grew up with. I'm yes. Italian and Portuguese. Yeah. I grew up with certain things. I, 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 with Portuguese people, it's, it's big on fish and, and yeah. different things. How is that racist? Yeah. It's there's there. Who am I going to go to who knows better about a product like this sure. than people who have been eating it all their life? Yeah. Well, I guess you're right now. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, I'm trying to get food is to me, food is universal. Of course. You know, yeah. your family sits down to the table, like my family sits mm -hmm. down to the table. We talk about old times, we talk about good times, we talk about this, we talk. They do that in every culture. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, you know, as human beings, you know, when it comes to food, sharing food is not something that we normally do because we're human. Right. You know, we're animals. We're still animals. Mm -hmm. As much as we try to think we're not, we are. Yeah. So when someone gives you food and sits down and makes you a meal, that's a sign of, hey, come into my, right. my group here. Come into. The... And I love that. Mm -hmm. I, I, I love sitting down with people, uh, you know, who are Greek and, OK, look, we do this, this mm -hmm. and this. And Hispanics who do this, this and this. Cubans. I mean, I love I love Cuban food. I mean, I do a, a, a pickle tomatillos huh. and I slice them up and I put them on a Cuban sandwich. I love them. Heck yeah. You know, so, you know, it's I think food brings people together. It really does. It, it sure does. Absolutely. Well, this right here is the is the straight classic habanero. And this okay. one that is, one I have not tried yet. This one here is is really kind of good for meat flavors. Carne asada, carnitas, uh, tacos al pastor, especially with grilled pineapple if you get the really good stuff. Well, I like the kick on this one. It, it's got a good kick. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's got that habanero flavor. It's got a little lime juice, a little garlic. Mm -hmm. So, now Woo! here's here's what I mean by the uh, 
enhancing the flavor. So I'm going to give you this habanero again to keep it that way. And I'm going to sprinkle some of the six chili blend on it. And you're going to see how the flavor changes. Okay. It actually will. So if you, if you use this as a wing sauce and then mm -hmm. sprinkle the six chili blend on it, it'll change. But for the better, it, right. it, it gives a little smokiness, cuts the heat down a little bit, but now it brings out the habanero pepper. Mm. See how it now I yeah. take that when I do a Michelada, instead of taking a lime and rim the glass, mm -hmm. I use hot sauce. I put it in a bowl, a little plate, spin it around so it gets moist, mm -hmm. and you put it in the six chili blend. Whoa. And now what that does is because the hot sauce starts to dry, mm -hmm. it sort of candies everything. So when this six chili blends on there, when you're drinking your Michelada or your Bloody Mary. Uh, as you drink from the glass, it doesn't just wear away. You get the flavor, so you're going you're gonna to get more flavor out of it because you've got the hot sauce and the six chili blend mixed together. That tastes amazing. That's so – I could – yeah, my, my mouth is water, now I want a Michelada. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, um, the ghost pepper – now, you've had the garlic. You've had the, the scotch bonnet. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the ghost pepper. Give it a good shake. This is so interesting, too. It's, it's so smart to not do it with chips because yeah. the, the chips is going to give it a different flavor. It's going to give wanna... it a little salty flavor. When I, when I do the tastings at Liquor World, I, I have to put it on something. And so I, I put it on a, a, a tortilla chip, and you know people tend to like it. Because, okay. you know, mm -hmm. But it's the only way to transfer that flavor, you know, especially now with the, the, the COVID nonsense and all that stuff. Uh, giving plastic spoons, I could do that, but the chips are... They seem to like it. Okay, I'm kind of nervous now. There's the ghost pepper. That's the ghost. And there's some passion fruit. Ooh. There's some papaya, some mm -hmm. lime juice, a little garlic. So you're going to get some heat. But okay. if, you, if you're if you used to heat, this is not going to oh, be yeah. hard for you. Yeah. I love the heat. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, heat. Yeah. And that's, that's, as, that's, hot, a, that's, wow. a, that's as hot as it's going to get. Wow. That's it. That is that taste is great. Now we'll try it again, and I'll show you with the six chili blend on it, and you're going to see how this changes too. Matter of fact, we'll even do the garlic again, and so you can see it, and the scotch bonnet. So now, come on! All right. So you'll see how this works great as the wing sauce, because this will be the wing sauce itself. Okay. A little bit of butter, and then. The six chili blend. Okay. And the ghost pepper. And the ghost pepper. All right. See how that just changes a little bit? Hell yeah. And it changes it for the better. So let's. Uh, let's that is really good. Let's go to the Scotch Bonnet again, your favorite. I should have brought more spoons, sorry. No, that's fine. If you're getting it all off the spoon, you're good. Woo! It's it's got a little heat, but mm -hmm. it's because it is a it is a hot sauce. It is a pepper sauce, and so it's good though. But it's it's not where you wouldn't be able to enjoy your food. Now the Scotch bonnet, you do like this one. This one's a little sweeter, but now you're going to see the flavor just intensify. Okay. See how it's different. Yeah. That yeah. six chili blend just makes everything even. Way more like it just enhances. Mm -hmm. On pizza, it is phenomenal on pizza. Yeah. It yeah. really is. That's really good. Wow. So now here's the ghost. Uh, not the ghost. I'm sorry. The garlic. Okay. Uh, you said you just finished the bottle of this one, right? Yeah. What did you put no, it on? Uh, the one I just finished. Oh, it was a scotch bonnet? Yeah. So, so you haven't had the garlic yet? I had the uh, habanero garlic, I believe it's The called. garlic habanero? Yeah, that one. Okay. I finished that one first. So you've got that one. And now this is the garlic cabinero with the six chili blood. This one I put on the Bloody Mary sometimes. I, I like this as the rim. And then, uh, you know, just like I was telling you with the, with the Michelada, mm -hmm. I put it on and uh, you let it dry together. Now it's the garlic cabinero. And that one is great on pizza, great on wings, great on, on ramen. It is amazing on ramen. I, Mm. I, 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 my niece and I, we go for ramen 
quite a bit. And you bring your hot sauce. Yeah. So, Uncle Steve, you can't do that. I go, watch me. Uh, yeah. So then I, because I have my little vial on the keychain, mm-hmm. and uh, I go, you want some? She goes, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Looking around. Yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. that, that garlic is now, it, you know, more prominent. Uh, the heat has gone down just a bit, but all those flavors start to come out again. Yeah, they do. You can really taste the garlic in there. Yeah. That's my favorite. The garlic? But, man, that ghost pepper is becoming my favorite pretty pretty quick. It, you know, it's, they're, they're, like I said, with the different flavors, it, it actually works for different foods. Um you know, I like the ghost pepper for the chicken wings or if you're doing any kind of uh, chicken thighs or something like that. And you can tone it down a little bit. Mm-hmm. But beans, chili, it really brings out all those nuances in those foods mm-hmm. and, and those ingredients. And that's what it's all about for me anyway. I mean, I, I want flavor in my food and I want a little heat. Mm-hmm. And for the you know millions of people out there that want hot sauce and like hot sauce, well, I think this is right at their alley. Which one you recommend for a burger, like a cheeseburger? I would do um, the Scotch Bonnet. I like that, uh, but then again, it depends on what kind of cheeseburger it is. I mean, if I like um, uh, avocado, believe it or not, on my cheeseburger, yeah, I'll, I'll do a little. Too. I'll do a little garlic on that, garlic habanero. Okay. Um, so that brings out a little bit more flavor uh, with the bacon too. Um, uh, especially for bacon cheeseburger, uh, people usually fry their bacon mm. me i i put it in the oven i bake it mm. and what i do is i sprinkle brown sugar some uh black pepper and the six chili blend on both sides whoa so you turn it up 400 degrees 375 400 10 minutes aside and i have you 10 minutes you flip it over now all that fat drips down but all those flavors stay there now mm-hmm. it's almost like candy bacon because of the brown sugar now you got the, the 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 black pepper and my six chili blend on there, mm-hmm. and it's it's very very good. That's wow. a nice flavor. Yeah, no, well, that's that's great. Matter of fact, on, on my website I have a recipe for bacon jam. People don't really know what bacon jam is, but it's some people do. It's it's basically uh, bacon that's been rendered down quite a bit, fat taken out. Then you put some you you take a little bit of the bacon fat and you. You saute your onions in it, add a little little uh, balsamic, a little maple syrup, that kind of thing, and then you just let it simmer down, and it goes good on toast, and you put a little blue cheese on top. And oh, wow. It's really a nice little additive. So here's your website. I got it up right here. Oh, yeah, well, you got the videos of the... Yeah, that was the commercial that uh, I did for... Uh, it's, in, it's in the liquor world. It was actually on a TV show. Ah. These uh, two people were going across the country, and they stopped up in Boulder City, so I've got one for Boulder Heat Junkie, but I got this one here, and I use it at Liquor World uh, in there. Now nice. this is this is Dustin Johnson. He's the the winner of the world's hottest chili pepper eating contest. Great guy. Uh, he's given the reviews on all my hot sauces, and again, all for free. And this is what he does. He reviews There's the ghost pepper right there. Yeah, and he and he's 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 a machine. He mm-hmm. really is. He, he sometimes you and if you look at these videos every now and then, you catch him drinking it out of the bottle. <laughs> It's yeah wow <laughs> you know? uh, that's a nice microphone that's yeah the, he, that's he, called the yeti right there oh okay i'm just nerding out <laughs> podcasting nerd, nerd nerd <laughs> where's the um... now this this here this oh. is from this is the, the boulder heat junkie this is a guy by the name of bill moore he's another this guy, hot right? sauce reviewer and he gave it really good marks again it's the same garlic it's the same ghost but it's under a different label but again it's mine i can do whatever i want right absolutely <laughs> now where's your recipes on the website uh if you scroll down let's see now there's the locations where it's sold oh cool uh there's a place called uh, burn your tongue store that's in utah um it's in the quilted bear uh liquor world beef jerky uh, deja vu now the, the boulder heat junkies and chili jillies mm-hmm. uh you can scroll down a little bit more and then uh, Boulder Dam Brewing, Jack's Place, Hoover Dam Lodge. Wow. Uh, World, uh, the coffee cup. Everybody knows the coffee cup. Uh, Dam Roast House. I, I, I the did there with Wi-Fi. Did? <laughs> yeah, I did the, oh, the cool. Wi-Fi for the, the coffee cup. Yeah. She gave me coffee. And then <laughs> even the True Value. I have it at the True Value there and, and one in Overton. They both own the same place. 
Oh, but wow. they, and they sell quite well in True Value. Yeah. So as you scroll down, you'll 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 get the recipes and. Uh, oh, there we here. go! Look at that. This one is the uh, six chili blend uh, uh, pork belly burnt ends and grilled oysters. Yeah, I was just gonna say the oysters. It's it's uh, Vegas heat junky garlic habanero grilled oysters. Right. And that's an Whoa. easy one to do. That looks really good. So there's the my margarita recipe with the mango habanero from the Boulder Heat Junkie. And this is what I was telling you about. Ah, uh, the fruit. Yeah, the watermelon salad with avocado. With avocado. And wow. feta and mint. Uh, Whoa. It, it really is refreshing. Yeah. Really refreshing. This is cool. And now this one here, this one is the Six Julie Blend Bloody Mary Pickle Shooter. You'll be a big hit at a party. You take a kosher pickle, you cut the ends off, and then cut it in the middle so it'll stand up. And you yeah. just take a little... Uh, apple core, if you want, or just core out the middle and then turn it over and you see the six chili blend on it. Yeah. And then you fill it full of your favorite Bloody Mary recipe, or you can go to the one online here that I got, which you, so anybody can, you know, steal it. Yeah. And then uh, you do the shot and then you eat the pickle. So wow. now you got that oh, nice yeah. pickle yeah. flavor. There you go. You so, eat the pickle. Yeah. And then the, the uh, air fryer uh, pickles too. I've, I've also learned that pickles. And pickle juice is great for um, heartburn. Mm -hmm. And uh, anybody that has like gurge when they eat spicy food, um, it's helped me mm -hmm. a lot because eat, it's eating hot, spicy food. It, it finally caught up to me. And, and then I was like, why am I getting heartburn? And I'm like, I'm not supposed to be getting this. I'm Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my DNA. <laughs> yeah. Someone online uh, recommended pickle juice and eating pickles. And it helped me tremendously. Well, I, I I do have pickle juice in my Bloody Mary recipe, which you see here. Oh, okay. So as you go down, I, I do a uh, steamed shrimp instead of boiled shrimp. Ah. Uh, what what it is is you steam it over celery, bay leaf, and lemon. Mm -hmm. So you don't boil it. You don't boil anything away. Yeah. And then the minute it turns pink, you put it in cold water, and then you, you hit it with the six chili blend. And, of course, you can add it to your Bloody Mary, too. Nice. And uh, there's the... Uh, Little the Mexican street popcorn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the grilled chicken. Um, the shishito peppers. Those, those are really, really good. Simple to do. Wow. Um, so mango habanero, uh, chicken wings. That's the thing right there. I'll be taking that for my lunch. <laughs> and then if you... Uh, I, I, I've got this uh, navy bean and potato soup. There's the bacon jam. Um, and then a little uh, bacon appetizers, bacon breadsticks. This Fish is tacos, so cool. Um, regular <laughs> peppers. I mean, uh, potatoes. Have you gone uh, or have you thought about going on uh, like a distributor type of thing? Like, um, like let's say jumping on Amazon or something like that. You know, I, I, I was thinking about that. But the, the problem with that is you, you don't really have much control, I think. Oh, really? Uh, you know, I'm, and I'm, guessing and i could be wrong but you know i'm sure there's fees on top of fees on top of fees yeah i'd rather go direct um mm. since i have a another promotional company i've had for 26 years yeah doing screen printing and embroidery and things like that mm -hmm. um, i realized that if you go organically and you go directly to the people because that's why i do the tastings at liquor world yeah i want people to try it first Mm -hmm. uh, out in Boulder City, uh, if you if you want to try it on your food, you can do it at Chili Jillies. You can do it at the Coffee Cup. You can do it at Jack's. You can do it at the Brew Pub. You can try it before you buy it, and that has helped the brand move. Yeah, because people go, okay, great. You know, I can I'm having some fries, I'm having some chicken, and oh, I, I like hot sauce. There you go. So I don't want to build the, the the brand so fast that. It, it, you know, it's just everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I want people to understand it's not a novelty hot sauce. It's a qualified right. hot sauce that, you know, you can have on just about anything. Yeah, it's so good. So, I mean, there's there's brands out there that, you know, that burn your butt and kill your colon and all that stuff. <laughs> I, I don't want any of that. I mean, yeah. and most of the people in the hot sauce community go, I'm not trying that because right. even Steve-O does one, but they have done some tastings with it and some guys have done some videos and stuff and uh -huh. some say they like it yeah uh, i i personally think it's a private label and he just puts his label on but i could be wrong i'm not uh -huh. you know, but you know uh yeah i've seen some weird stuff too like um 
I saw a, a, a clear hot sauce one time. Yeah, that's there's there's one out there. Too. I've never tried it, but I, I don't doesn't I don't, I don't think I want to. I well, don't know. see, that's the thing. Everything with with marketing, it's very important. I mean, a lot of people do the same thing with wine. If they like the label, they'll try it. Uh, I mean, we all eat with our eyes anyway. But if uh, the label has a, has a, an effect on you, and you go, okay, I'm going to get that, and that's why I picked that label. You know, I I created the logo. Mm -hmm. I wanted a Vegas theme. Uh, the Boulder City one is, you know, you, as you you can see on their on their website, it's it's the dam, which is very synonymous to a lot of things in Boulder City, which yeah. is Hoover, you know Hoover Dam. Yeah. Um, but with uh, this one here, I I didn't want to be a novelty hot sauce, but and it's not, mm -hmm. but it is. It's that's what's getting you to buy it because right. look, I'm a I'm a Vegas tourist. I want to bring something home back to pig's knuckle Iowa, and there you go you know i've got this and then they open it up and they go hey this isn't bad let me order it again uh -huh. so that's where you know the second step comes in okay you know of, of marketing your product right. for me anyway yeah you know? um is there uh for the vegas one are, are you thinking of uh, introducing the jalapeno um Probably not. No. Probably mm -hmm. not. Um, I, I want to keep them separate. Okay. Um, it, it's something that if you want, you can go on the website and buy it. You know, or if you're local, you can take a trip to Boulder City, which is great. You know. Yeah. You know, you go out and have lunch, go here, go there for breakfast, and, and then check out the the shops. Yeah. You know, which is a wife great, and I want to do that. Yeah, yeah which so. is a great day trip. So mm -hmm. if you do that, go out to Chili Jillies and go out for brunch. She has a great brunch on on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. And say, hey, uh, can I, you know, get the hot sauce? And uh, she uses my six chili blend on the rim for a Bloody Marys and her Micheladas oh. automatic. So does the coffee cup. Mm -hmm. uh, Jack's too. Uh, Jack's a really good place. Uh, so you can try it. Okay. And I'm fairly certain you will like it. Yeah. I'm fairly certain. My buddy Sean lives out there. He told me that um, there's no... Um, casinos right uh, well there's the hoover dam lodge which i do have the sauce in, in the gift shop and then there's the uh railroad pass but oh, that's but before and after before and after yeah. ah okay yeah there's no gaming uh so when you go to a, a, a local bar you sit at the bar and there's no machines no machines so you have to talk to each other <laughs> unless yeah, you're on your cell phone and <laughs> my buddy uh another buddy i have uh his name's manny he runs a comedy show monday nights at the backstop oh yeah yeah and uh, when I went in there, I was surprised there was no no gaming in the bars. Yeah. And I was like, this is cool because out here in Vegas, we're so used to competing against, their, you know, getting the patrons attention. Exactly. <laughs> if you if you do a like an open mic or a bar show and you're trying to compete against uh, gaming, right. you know, uh, slot machines and stuff, it's like, like it was really nice. I, well, before I mean, 25 years ago, I actually was a bartender in this town. Oh, where are you? At the Rio. I opened up the Hard Rock. Oh. Um, Texas Station. I opened that up. And that was the thing. You see just people just head down. That was the cell phones of back then. Yeah. Head down, not paying attention to any, but just hitting those buttons and yeah. blowing their paycheck. And, and you know, hey, that's great because that's what this town was built on. Yeah. Uh, but with Boulder City, you actually talk to the bartender. You talk to the server. You talk yes. to, and again, unless you're on your phone, which is another pet peeve of mine but um it's that hometown old school kind of place you know yeah. I, I you can walk around at night and not even worry about it you know you're not mm -hmm. going to get mugged you're not going to get nothing's going to happen to you and it's a nice quiet place and uh, i really dig it yeah it's a great place to visit for the day matter of fact our chamber uh really promotes it that way world away for the day and uh, the woman who runs the chamber she's fantastic her name is uh, jill lagan and She's the CEO, and she really is so business forward. It's pathetic. I mean, she's she's the best, best CEO we ever had. And I'm a member of the chamber for both ah, companies. Nice. So she's just really concerned about, and she's lived there all her life too. Yeah. So she's really concerned about what's what's going on. Um, they also have some amazing hikes over there. Oh yeah, by the I, dam, oh, yeah. the the railroad. The railroad is good. Uh, um, Liberty Bell Arch is very good. I do a lot of hiking out there too. Uh, there are so many places just off the beaten path boy scout canyon um just going off a dirt road and then going up into the to the hills yeah it's perfect yeah what my, my wife when she went over <clears throat> uh her boss's house uh 
there was like um just like uh wildlife just in the streets big horn sheep yes that's yeah. what it was they were just chilling yeah just in the street they weren't afraid of her yeah. they're used to people already. well if you go to hemingway park you can go down and see them uh, but you know you they're not pets you know a lot no. of people go up and they want to pet them well, uh -oh. you see the horns that these animals have <laughs> and from a dead stop they can jump and hurt you really bad right uh, and break your ribs. Uh -huh. So you don't want to go near them. You know, out out in the desert. When I see mm. them out in the desert, you, you cannot get them near them at all because mm. they, you know, if you're up on top of a canyon somewhere and they're looking down at you and vice versa, they're always, you know, they always know you're there. Yeah. So when you do see them, don't get near. Them. Well, it, it's 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 really nice to see them out in the wild. Uh -huh. But if you want to go and see them at a at a park and you you know from a distance, it's great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's most people don't see that. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, Steve, thank you so much for uh, joining us on the podcast today. This was oh, awesome. My, my pleasure. Um, and I did get some sweat <laughs> built up. So, but the heat's going down, right? It's not. No, it, it, yeah, it's not lingering. It's not lasting a long time. You're not oh, in pain. And, <clears throat> and it's my, got flavor. Yes, and I like. And if it was uh, when it when the heat is there, though, I enjoy that. Mm. I like it. I'm like. This is cool. This is what yeah. I, because if I'm eating, I'm like, I want to feel that heat right. and the flavor. But you don't want to be painful, though. No, not painful. Not where your tongue's like, yeah. please stop <laughs> doing this to me. You're sticking yeah. it in the, in the glass of milk. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. Um, you know, it was like that show. Uh, you seen that show, Hot Ones? Hot Ones, yeah. Yeah, that's what they do. They do the milk because yeah. water activates it more. It, it does. <laughs> it does. Uh, and, and that's why know, I do it because I'm brave. Well, that's you know, like they have the, the they have the celebrities do it, and you know they want to. It's for the the reaction. They want to see what they're going to do. Yeah, yeah. You know, and look, it's it's great because it produces a lot of uh, uh, exposure for different hot sauces sure. and things like that. Yeah. Matter yeah. of fact, the 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 guy who crossbred the Carolina Reapers, named Ed Curry, and he has a hot sauce company with a, uh, a buddy of his. He put on that contest I was telling you about that's on Netflix with the guy Dustin Johnson. Yeah. And usually in a hot sauce eating contest, the Reaper is the last one. He bred four or five more peppers just for this contest alone that are hotter than the Carolina Reaper. Hmm. And of course, this guy Dustin didn't didn't even flinch. Wow. When you watch if you watch that and okay. you see the girl next to him who was actually coming down to the end, she is dripping in sweat literally dripping in sweat mm -hmm. uh even these uh, guy by the name of johnny scoval which is a very he's a hot sauce eater too and this woman the uk chili queen they got knocked out right away yeah uh right 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 around the reaper but the other four or five that this guy ed did uh-huh you know dustin's just eating them like candy wow not even flinching yeah you know? Wow, that guy's the man. Is he local? He's local, actually. He lives in North Las Vegas. Hmm. Yeah, and this new guy uh, that just did some reviews of my Scotch Bonnet and the Ghost. Uh, his name is Rhett. Uh, he does some uh, one I sent to you. Mm -hmm. He does you know, uh, some hot sauce reviews also. Okay. So he put that on YouTube, which is I really like. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to do some links to my Facebook page for that too to get that going. Now on, <clears throat> excuse me, the the Facebook are you using like um like a, a personal page? I have a personal page and I also have one for uh, the Vegas Heat Junkie. Oh, okay. Uh, and and the the Boulder Heat Junkie one. Cool. Um, How could people find that one? It, it's on uh, it's on Facebook. It's under Vegas Heat Junkie, uh, and, or, or if you type in Boulder Heat Junkie. Okay. Should be should be able to find it that way. I mean, I should be a little more uh, technical on what I'm doing. Uh, I just I've been kind of focusing more on getting people to taste it. Sure, you know uh, where they can find it is 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 always good, obviously. But sure. to me, right now, that's secondary. I the liquor worlds will carry it. So in the word of mouth, um, mm -hmm. and you found me through you know through. You know, I think it was liquor world probably where I yeah, bought it. Yeah, but uh, but also you knew about oh, the next Instagram. door, but next door from from where you are, deja vu, deja vu. Yeah, which everybody says, well, why are you in a, an adult store? <laughs> well, hot girls, hot sauce. Yeah. 
and it sells because, right at the counter. Yeah, and, and, and the one on Tropicana, the same thing. They uh, they have it right there, so it's kind of an impulse buy. Yeah, yeah, and, it's it's right there. People go buy some lingerie and uh, yeah, some hot sauce. Exactly. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but I mean, uh, edible panties and hot sauce is always great. I guess. <laughs> yeah, let's throw in a whip. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, garlic habanero on that <laughs> yeah <laughs> right on steve well thank you so much steve uh my pleasure and again for listeners the website is heatjunkiefoods.com and you can google it if you want to google uh vegas heat junkie or boulder heat junkie it'll bring you right to it yeah so uh and then check them out check out the recipes um like i said most of the stuff that i do is recipe based yeah uh even on the on the website i've, I've got a, a recipe for uh mango habanero ketchup from scratch oh and you can always substitute any hot sauce you want in there okay but making to me i like making stuff from scratch yeah because uh, i can control the sugar i can control the salt yeah yeah you know and this way you can you know you're getting fresh ingredients so yeah so i definitely because i have friends that live across country and um they'll definitely want to buy this online so yeah if you buy the five pack of either brand, it's free shipping, so mm-hmm. it's thirty nine dollars, and you get the five pack, uh, which is you know with the Vegas, it's the habanero, the garlic habanero, the ghost Scotch bonnet, and the six chili blend. This is my buddy Westwoods. He lives in Ohio, and he's a chef. He does cool. like a morning TV uh, reviews on, on certain things, and he'll do some cooking. And then he had my friend's uh, salsa. Her name's Carla. She makes her salsa, and he bought it online all the way from across the country. So, nice. this is definitely somebody I wanna, I wanna send him a, a shout out. Wes Woods from Ohio. He's a chef, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna be interested in this. So, great, great. Appreciate Thank you so much, Steve. I appreciate, it, brother. Uh, anything else you wanna add? Or no, I think I, I think we covered it pretty good. Just uh, this is great. If you're local, come out to the Liquor World on Cactus on Fridays. I'm there between four and seven. Yeah. Uh, today I'll be at the Rainbow location, Rainbow and 215, at, uh, starting about uh, 4 o'clock from 4 to 7. Okay. Come on and taste it. Uh, I do uh, tastings of a Bloody Mary and, my, and a margarita. Again, the, those recipes are on the website. Mm-hmm. I just want you to see what, it's gonna, what the flavor is going to be. Yeah. And if you like it, I'll give you the recipe for the Bloody Mary uh, in a, on a card. Or you can go on the website and get it there. But I, I want people to come down and try it. Yeah, I'd rather you try it first before you buy it. Yeah, definitely. That's great. Well, thank you so much, Steve. My pleasure. Uh, all righty, folks. Make sure you look it up and definitely want to try it and get it on your food. It's going to be a game changer. So uh, we are out. Super. Yeah. Awesome, brother. Yeah, I enjoyed that. That was great. Thank you.